I think the expectations are definitely going to be raised this year, uh, much higher than what we had last year. We've got a new team with a new group of recruits in that are going to be immediate impacts, I think. Uh, we've got some returning players coming back that didn't play last year uh, that are also going to be impacts, which is going to deepen our bench significantly. Uh, and we're building off of a season where we only had two wins. And so increasing on that should be fairly simple, uh, but we want to be able to hit it hard right from the get-go. This weekend when we go down to Navy, uh, we're looking for a couple wins and uh, I don't see any reason why that shouldn't happen. As far as impact players go, I would say uh, Joey DeFusco would be one of my biggest impact players. Uh, he's just an all-around good player. He, uh, he plays both sides of the ball, offense and defense. Uh, he's got a very, very smart water polo IQ. He's selfless. He makes the extra pass when he needs to. Uh, he's not really worried about stats for himself, he's worried about wins, uh, and he just performs. Every time uh, you know, he's got the ball or he's on offense, he's an impact. And, and you can see uh, the improvement over this last year from, to this year already, just in the sense that everything he does makes a mark out in the, in the pool. So we have six freshmen, plus we have a uh, second semester freshman as our goalie, um, Adriano Zunino, he, he'll come in as, and back up Cameron. Uh, and the other six freshmen should all evolve into great players. Some of them are going to come in, potentially you know, get a lot of minutes, uh, and others will, will get more minutes than we've had in the past with freshmen. Uh, so the class itself is very strong, and uh, I expect good things out of them. So the freshmen that should get the uh, biggest uh, looks at or the biggest impacts on the year, I would say uh, Callan Chimilar. Uh, for one, uh, he's coming to us from, uh, from Canada. Uh, he already fits into the program. He, he works well with the guys, the chemistry's there. He's one of the hardest workers at practice, even as a freshman right now. Uh, I think he'll be, uh, he'll be decidedly uh, towards the top of our roster for sure. Uh, past him, we've got uh, Chris Gaboria and Jordan McVeigh. They're both a couple guys out of Pennsylvania here. Uh, super eager to learn. Chris Gabori is a lefty, which he, he's our only lefty on the team right now. Um, and then behind them uh, would be Derek Allen from California, who came and, and expanded our depth in the center position, which, uh, which we needed. It's allowing our current centers to do more in the water versus just staying in the center position and makes our offense a little bit more dynamic.